This one's about that. Greetings, this is Hoss Turlington of Delaware County. The purpose of this video is to inform you about a Facebook post or many, many posts made by Jeff Stout, who's the son of disgraced former Delaware County under sheriff, perjurer, and thief, and God knows what else, Bill Stout, of whom I recently featured in a video about perjury. The secondary uh, purpose of this video is to explain why I'll have less of a presence in Facebook comment sections. It's going to uh, increase in videos and my webpage at rayfordelco.com, but the comment sections can overwhelm someone with the, the time they take, basically. The bottom line with Jeff Stout is that had he sent me a private message to Facebook, and uh, just explain that uh, you know, who he is, and he's the son of Bill Stout, and, and, and he recognizes his father made a lot of mistakes before he's dead. And he's a public servant, and when a public servant dies, it's not like anyone else dies. They're, what they did for the community or did uh, against the community, that's, people talk about that a long time, and, and court records. I have the right to put up any court record I want especially over crimes and things like that. And, uh, but mainly if he, he sort of said, look, you know, I'm a father, I'm a son, you're a father, you're a son. I'm asking you as a man to please not talk about my father. Please don't bring him up just for the sake of my family. I, I would not have even thought about it. I would have said, fine, okay, no problem. I would have taken down those videos. I would have edited, blacked out his father's name and all of that because who his father was is not really germane to the video. The fact he's Delaware County Undersheriff uh, is, is pertinent because that's what I expose. That's what I, I do videos about Delaware County problems. But, but the main thing was just perjury and the perjury that he got caught committing 19 years and 10 months into his career. God knows the stuff that he pulled before then could have put these people in prison for life. Now, in my book, whenever Delaware County tried to frame me for intent to kill, that could have put me in prison for life. And I, the state's witness in that case also purged himself against me multiple times. And I proved it. I proved it in the book. I proved it to Nick Lelicus. And, and by law, Nick should have informed the courts that he didn't. That's going to be the basis, a big part of the basis of a lawsuit coming up. But getting back to Jeff Stout, that's all he had to do is just approach me like a man would approach somebody. And he doesn't do that. He, he goes on, on Facebook and makes a public post and uh, orders me to take it down and says some, a lot of things that are inaccurate. And I'll, I'll get into that. And, and I just will say right now that if he apologizes and makes it a good, a real heartfelt apology, and we'll see how much he loves his dead father, and just how much he doesn't want me to talk about him. That's all he has to do is to apologize. I'll go back and take all the stuff off of mentioning Bill Stout off of Facebook. I'll go back in those videos, I'll re-edit them, I'll black out Stout's name, and I'll do it in the other ones, and if he uh, acts like a grown, like a man, talking about Jeff Stout, from here on out, and I'll have problems, then I'll never mention Bill Stout again. This is where it gets good, and you'll see this, where he's friends with Titties Morris, this guy. Jeff Stout is, and Titties Morris is buddies with Bill Stout, his, his creep father is a criminal. And that's what I've been telling you, that, you know, these people all run together. Titties Morris's mentor was Shorter Software Gail Wells, the guy that Harlan Moore sent down to frame me. Criminals will always be here in Delaware County as long as we have criminal administrators and law enforcement. And they'll have no reason to leave as long as they feel comfortable here. And that goes for street criminals, as well as the criminal cops and the criminal lawyers like Kenny Wright. Getting back to the first of the video, uh, in my best selling true crime thriller, The Most Dangerous Man in the Rape of Delaware County, I referenced the study on police and prosecutorial crime. And I noted that every type of misconduct in that study was present 
and my false arrest. When the Delaware County Sheriff had me framed for intent to kill for shooting a violent drug informant in self-defense as he committed aggravated assault on me, which could have landed me a life sentence in prison. I also noted that when I approached a prosecutor in my case, New England Nick Lelicus, with evidence of perjury committed by the state's sole witness, and this was hard evidence, it was transcripts where the state's witness denied being a felon to felonies he had been convicted of, and more. It was provable. Uh, Nick Lelicus did not care, and neither did the district attorney, Country Kenny Wright, at all as I'm going to show in a future video coming up, uh, they allow perjury by state's witnesses knowingly. And they've been doing it for decades. In fact, in the recording, which was taken undercover by police, you'll hear Kenny Wright defend Sergeant Scotty Graham of Grove Police Department when he committed perjury in court. By the way, Judge Alicia Littlefield in Delaware County will not allow Scotty Graham to testify in her courtroom because of that. Same thing with Judge Culver in Ottawa County. In fact, Judge Culver gives uh, legal classes to reserve deputies and he uses Scotty Graham's uh, paperwork as evidence of what not to do. Anyway, the point is the corruption is a way of life for public officials in Delaware County and it has been for a long time. This is not news to anybody. It's so much so that New England Nick in court three times entered information into the court record that he knew to be false. He did this knowing that the hearing was being recorded. I'd paid a court recorder to record everything in there. And he still broke the law multiple times. The point here isn't that corruption exists in astounding degrees and has for a long time in Delaware County, which it does and which it has. Everyone knows this. The point is that public officials are so certain they will not face prosecution or retribution of any type, for that matter, that they willingly and knowingly break the law even when they know there will be a public record of. Two days ago, I posted a video about our sheriff-elect, Mark Berry, undergoing investigation or perjury. And in that video, I made note of a former Delaware County undersheriff, Bill Stout, getting caught taking home drug money and drugs, and then committing perjury in court about the amount of drugs seized in that same drug bust. Perjury that could have cost the defendants life in prison. Shortly thereafter, Bill's son Jeff made a public demand on Facebook that I remove the video. But what is shocking to anyone not from Delaware County is that Jeff, a retired Delaware County fire inspector, made multiple public threats on Facebook that my house would burn down, made reference about hearing sirens on the way towards Oak Chapel, where I live, asking me if I was in the emergency room, etc. Keep in mind, I'm a family man and I have four young children. Okay? And Jeff made other threats on top of that too. Keep that in mind if you're on a jury sometime soon, if Jeff Stout gets the living shit beat out of him. In fact, I'm going to place a poll at the end of this video, and I want to, I'm just out of curiosity. I don't know how many people in my community would, on a jury, would convict someone for beating the living shit out of someone for making those kind of threats about his family, burning down his house like that. Or would they go ahead and convict him if they thought that he actually did break a law that they morally disagreed with? because they thought the guy deserved to get a good Oklahoma ass whooping. Getting back to the video, uh, while Jeff Stout made these threats, he invoked the name of Grove Fire Chief Mike Reed. Said he was his, a real good friend, very good friend. In other words, he's trying to point out that I'm not only outside the protection of the law, like when I shot a violent felon in self-defense who's committing aggravated assault against me, is implying that if someone burns my house down, I'm not gonna get a response from Fire Chief Mike Reed's fire department, or when they do respond after it burns down, Reed's current fire inspector won't find wrongdoing. The only people that really know what Jeff meant by invoking the name of Mike Reed would be Jeff and maybe Mike Reed. One thing is certain is that it's no coincidence that Jeff Stout invoked the name of the fire chief 
stating he was a very good friend just before threatening to burn my house down. When Jeff Stout first started making these Facebook posts yesterday, one of the posts was uh, something to the effect that I would not be making these posts about someone who I knew would be knocking on my door or something like that, something ridiculous. I, I've showed no restraint or uh, favoritism in who I make po videos about, whether they're well-liked in the community by a lot of people like Mike Reed, the fire chief, until I found out what a low-life dirtbag he is, or just the street criminals or whatever. I answered basically that, that I don't care if it's a, a murdering, perjuring, thieving uh, cop that answers my door or his uh, angry son, which was, uh, of, course, of course, I'm not accusing his father of murder. I don't know him and I don't know the guy or anything else, but what that was in reference to was about half a dozen cops told me early on when I started investigating Bill Stout that he was involved in the February 1996 burning down of the Oakley's trailer in Afton with them inside. Uh, I know one person who lives in that area who said they saw Bill Stout leaving that house as it was burning before the first responders got there. And those people were, were meth dealers into the trade real big. To put things in perspective, it was September 1998 that Delaware County had the meth bust whenever Bill Stout stole drug money and drugs and took it to his house that he later got caught about. And then he perjured himself in court. I showed you those documents earlier. So the whole burning down of houses and, uh, you know, it's not an idle threat ever, but especially by a fire inspector. And then when he brings his fire chief's name into it, and then you hear this stuff about uh, his father, and you know his father was more than likely doing really dirty stuff his entire career if he got caught too much from retirement, uh, stealing and uh, committing perjury. For that reason, uh, all these threats to my family to burn them to burn them down in our house is going to go straight to the OSBI. Because, of course, it's not like anyone in Delaware County is going to care. The Facebook comments, uh, the time spent answering questions and comments from people is uh, almost always better spent doing something else. And uh, especially whenever uh, those people who are putting the comments, they're not serious. They're, they're just, uh, they're being antagonistic. And you'll see that in a lot of uh, Jeff Stout's posts. There's another Facebook post by who I assume is a well-meaning man regarding the county commissioner's meeting that I referenced in the video. He said he was there and uh, it was not on the agenda a new sheriff talking about it was not on the agenda and it was not on the agenda for the next meeting. And, uh, you know, I never said it was on the agenda. I never said it was, there was part of the official meeting. I didn't say it was, you know, even in the same room as the official meeting. I didn't say any of those things. And it can't be on the agenda because Barry, uh, is still under investigation. He might be absolved of all this. We might not need a new sheriff or an interim sheriff or anything else for another four years. So, so that, so I never said that he was on the agenda or there were anything official, uh, officially decided or anything else. But you are extremely uh, unaware of how government works or businesses even or organizations if you think that the county commissioners are not discussing amongst themselves the possibility of. Barry's investigation going south and them having to replace him with another sheriff and who that might be. And before I do that, though, while I was making this video, uh, Jeff Stout put probably another two dozen posts up. And uh, uh, most of them are not worth addressing, but he made two that were just blatant lies that I do want to address. And I'm glad he made them because he gives me the opportunity to address them. The first of these posts uh, says, night, night now. Uh, it says, I hope you got your milk before bedtime. But then he goes on to say, I know it's a rough life not working and all. 
see if you can discredit someone by talking about their work ethic, even whether it's a bold faced lie or not, uh, if that's all you have to throw, that's all you can come up with. And that's what you're going to use. And apparently that's what he used before I sh talk about whether I work or not. However, I want to explain that I'm retired. I'm a disabled military veteran, majority disabled. That means over 50%. For anyone in the audience that has not served and they're unfamiliar with military disability and uh, may be under the impression that uh, things like post-traumatic stress disorder don't qualify for not being able to work because there are people that have 100% disability based on post-traumatic stress disorder and they can't work and they don't work but I just want to clarify that my disability is all physical. I decided as a teenager, uh, the best way for me to serve my country was to join the 82nd Airborne Division and jump out of airplanes. And uh, then I went, and then I continued. I served out 20 years and retired from the military. In the process, I banged up my body really bad. I never took easy jobs. I always volunteered for the most uh, hardcore units okay. without pulling out my medical files and sharing them with the public. I'll show you this hunting license. As you can see it's free. I don't pay to fish or hunt in Oklahoma. The different uh, on, on the reverse side of this card, it refers you to the statute, which explains uh, how much disability you have to have in order to have a free license. And as you can see, it, you have to have at least 60%. So uh, we, we've established now that, that I'm military disabled. Now that alone would convince the vast majority, if not all, even if they wouldn't ad admit it, of people watching this that I deserve to take it easy. I've sacrificed enough and uh, I deserve to take a break and relax and uh, raise my family and you know, try to uh, make my community better and spend my time doing that between that and my family. However, the least amount of investigation will show you that I'm the proprietor of Haas Turlington's Bean Goat Farm. So. I'm not sure uh, what he meant by that, other than it was an insult. And like I stated earlier, a lot of these comments are nothing more than uh, insults. They're, try they're trying to be provocative, antagonistic. They, they mean nothing. But I do pre I'm do. i glad he mentioned this, just like I'm glad he made another remark about my book. He gives me a chance to talk about it. In one of the many rapid-fire Facebook posts, and this guy, he posts these like less than a minute after each other and there's a couple dozen of them he's, he's clearly has problems but two of them are, are about my book he brought up and he says uh that uh he calls me a 750 a book want to get rich fool and that if you wrote a book that big i'd hope to at least get 20 dollars out of it well since you mentioned that i'll tell you about the book real quick doug dollar is a fellow all-american paratrooper and He's a printer in Stillwater now, and had it not been for his help, I would have never got published, and he helped me a lot, is why I thanked him in the book. I sent him my manuscript, and he looked at it and said it was easily a $26 or $28 book, and I, so I explained to him I live in a very economically depressed area, and no one would be able to afford it, and, and that's why the price is so low. <sighs> So what did we learn here today? If you don't want to be remembered as a lying, thieving, murdering bastard when you're dead, then try not to be any of those things when you're alive.
when they sleep. We take my bears, we go away. We do our best to avoid the law in the dry counties of Arkansas. This one's about that. 